Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Jenna and I wasn't going to film today. I feel like I say that a lot. I wasn't going to and I decided going to to get out of a rut. So I'm in a rut because I have not been working out the last, this is day number three. Yes. Yeah, I didn't work out today. Yesterday is day number two. The day before that is day number one. It's been three days and I'm going insane. I am not working out because I so Zach was sick with the vid and then Navy was kind of sick and she's good now Zach's good and I thought I was sick and so what today's Friday so I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday I can't remember what it was but I, I think it was Tuesday I don't remember Tuesday Wednesday Thursday. no it was it was Wednesday I think it was Wednesday anyways it doesn't matter what day I woke up awful like I had a huge headache I was miserable like I just I I felt awful and I threw up and my head hurt I couldn't see and my neck and my back were killing me and I ended up going to the chiropractor and it was one of those like headaches with your neck all the way up I had this happen when I was pregnant with Navy and it was so bad so I had it happen again and it was it's awful like I don't wish it on anybody it's seriously terrible and so I've been taking it easy I haven't been working out because I don't want my ribs to go back out of place because my stomach was even sick because I had uh four or five ribs out so I was in so much pain so I've been taking it easy so then my body can just kind of readjust I haven't gained weight I haven't lost weight I've just maintained which is really nice I'm in my head about it though like it's not healthy what I'm thinking like my thoughts are Jenna you're not working out so you're gonna get overweight again like that is literally what's going through my head on the days that I don't work out baby's right there so I just keep I just keep checking uh I am just yeah so today we're getting ready I don't know what we're going to do I have no idea what we're going to do I have a lot of different um little life updates so I thought that I would just go ahead and um talk to you guys about them while I do my hair because I'm in the bathroom that's why you're in a weird angle but it's fine you'll be all right and this is only the second or third time I've done my hair since I've gotten it done like I've just been super super lazy but I'm gonna do my makeup get ready I don't know what we're gonna do and I, I know I've talked a few times about it in the past but before I started um you know this youtube channel and my well actually talked about it a few times what originally this youtube channel was for let me fix this so this youtube channel was mostly dedicated to reselling and so i used to do a lot of reselling and that was in uh spring of 2019 i started it right after my second miscarriage and because I just became stay-at-home mom the month before that and I always wanted to do it and so I said what the heck and I just did it so I did it and um created this channel and I started doing reselling like reselling vlogs thrifting vlogs thrift with me because I was really big into reselling I made really good money from it I paid off a lot of debt when I was still working when Savannah was a baby from reselling and then after I did that I started saving and planning to make my exit because it's gonna be a full-time reseller and stay-at-home mom and do both of it. So I was doing a good job doing that. Savannah was a year and a half old, almost a year and a half old when I left my job and it was all doing good and such. And then, you know, I got pregnant with Maverick and then uh, the vid hit and I couldn't do it anymore because I couldn't get out and thrift. I was also downsizing like I used to do um, clothes, shoes, everything. And I was just switching to only shoes because clothes was just a lot for me. And I didn't have a lot of space. It took a lot of time. And I realized, you know, I was going to have two kids. It's a lot easier to source, AKA thrift with two kids to just do shoes. Like it's just a lot easier, quicker. There's one section of the store. I'm not in the store for hours and hours on end. And so I had so I've sold off everything in bulk and to different resellers, just to people. I did really low sales. I was just doing shoes 
then the bed hit and everything really slowed down. I was still doing it, but when I moved, I didn't really have much inventory and I wasn't replenishing because everything was closed and I wasn't going shopping. Anyways, long story short, I loved reselling. I loved thrifting. Absolutely loved it. Zach wants me to get back into it because I really liked it and I was good at it. And also it brought in some good money too. And I have been considering it. And so long story short, that is what he wanted to do tonight. He wanted to go to one of our old stopping ground places. It's out of town, but he wanted to go. And I mean, it sounds fun and all, but it's a drive. We have all three kids and it'd just be really hard to do it. And I do miss it. And the reselling world is so different from what it was back in 2019 when I was at, when it, I felt like when it was at its peak, I mean, it's a totally different world. A lot of the resellers that I like followed on Instagram and whatnot, some of them aren't doing it anymore, some are. And it's just changed a lot because I was, you know, I was just interested. So I was going through, figuring out things, figuring out how Poshmark's doing. And also reselling hasn't been do. I, I mean, it's still a market, but like, eBay and Poshmark, I'm done with eBay. <laughs> eBay's fees are ridiculous, but Poshmark, like the fees are insane, the shipping's raised up. And so, you know, you just gotta figure out how you're gonna be able to do that with the percentage they take and shipping and markups, if you're gonna make money, how much you're gonna pay for it. So it is a lot to think about. I'm just getting ready because we are going to be going out and I'm excited. I'm excited to go out get out of the house, I feel like I've been stuck in the house and all I think about is working out or the fact I can't work out and then I just wanna stress eat and it's none of it's healthy. I'm gonna work out tomorrow though because I think three day break is a pretty good break so I'll work out tomorrow. I won't do a hard long class but I'm gonna work out because I need to for my mental health. But tomorrow we are getting our tub put back in. I'm so excited. We're getting our tub put back in. I'm super stoked about that. It's going to be amazing. I'm so pumped. And then also update because Navy hasn't been sleeping that great. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not. If not, follow me. It's at Shop. So let's shop in it because someone has the Megamom username. And that's what it was when it was a reselling Instagram. Anyways, I... Job, Navy. Navy hasn't been sleeping that great, and she was. She used to sleep in her. So she was in her rest night. We moved into her crib probably a couple weeks ago. She was doing really good. She got sick and such, and so then um, slept with me, and that didn't work out. And so then we ended up having to put her in the swing, which is downstairs, because she literally would not sleep, and we need we need our sleep. And Zach and I would take turns because he was, you know, sick with the vid and so he helped. But then he went back to work and I was up most of the night and then I slept on the couch and the and and the couch is just not good for your back. Like it's a nice couch, but it's not meant to be slept on every single night. And we brought and I'm I was I, I just at my wits end. I put her in the crib and she immediately wake up and she's never been like that. Well, I decided let's just try it. We'll try this. So we took the crib out of our bedroom and we put it in the loft. I'll go ahead and show you guys a video and such. We put it in the loft because she can't go in Maverick's room. I don't want her keeping Maverick up. I don't want her keeping Savannah up and she's too little to be in there with Savannah. Anyway, Savannah would just, you know, talk to her and keep her up all night long. And so we put her in the upstairs loft area. That's where the crib is. I just wanted to test it out and see because, you know, I felt like just because she could hear me and smell me, it's not like we have the light on in our bedroom and stuff, but you know, Zach and I, it's when we can talk and we're whispering and we can't really do anything. So I wanted to put her in the loft because I figured she would sleep. So the first, so not last night, the night before that was the first night. I nursed her, she fell asleep, put her in the crib. She slept till about 1, 2 a.m. in there. And then we put her in the swing and she slept then until I woke her up at 7, 
And then last night, we did it again. I nursed her, and then I put her in the crib, and she slept all night long. I am so freaking happy. So long story short, all she needed was her own space, and yeah, long story short. So it sucks we don't have an extra bedroom for her. I feel awful, but you got to do work with what you got, and so we're working with what we have, and the loft's working out great. It's not super, super ideal, but it's working for now until I can figure out what we're going to do next because this is my only, this is the best solution that I have, honestly. Can't be found cause I've given in to all my demons lately. You know, might be easy. Got my makeup all done. Navy is still napping. Maverick is still napping. Savannah's inside. And it is such a nice day. Like, it's just so nice outside. So nice. Yeah. I wonder what we're going to be doing later. I don't know what we're going to do. Savannah and I are just chilling outside. She's jumping on the trampoline. She has shorts on under the dress, FYI. But we're just relaxing while the other two nap. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here? done playing at this new playground we really wanted to check it out well I wanted to check it out I was very curious it's a nice playground it's in an eh area uh there were some eh people Zach thinks tell him what you think you saw um I'm pretty sure there was a dad there with an ankle monitor yeah which honestly for this area it's not very surprising um but it's hot we are now going to gotta get the air on me we're now going to go to we decided beat ups yeah yeah we're gonna go to beat ups about to eat and yeah, I got some good finds at the Goodwill, so I will show you guys what I ended up getting. But playground's very nice, just not in the best, best area. Nobody's watching that kid. I see that. Or all these kids. <sighs> yeah. Oh, my land. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving. I want to give you guys a quick haul of what we got. So we went to Children's Place in our local mall, and then we also went to Old Navy. So I only got this shirt at Children's Place. It was $5 for Savannah. First day of pre-K, I thought it was adorable, size 5T. So we spent $5 and some odd change there. And then at Old Navy, I saw these socks. They were $2.97 on clearance, so I got those for myself. And then I got the swimsuit for Navy. It is size 2T on clearance for $5.99. I thought it was adorable for the future. Like, it's just so freaking cute. I'm so excited for the day she'll fit in that. Swimsuits, like, are the time to buy right now, because especially for the future. So if you have babies and toddlers, that is my tip. Buy swimsuits for the future at the end of season so you can get them on clearance, and then you have cute swimsuits for next year. <laughs> that is my tip, mom tip of the day. And then 
I wanted to get navy uh, long sleeve onesie, and this is a six to 12 months. It was $5, and it's a long sleeve, and it'll definitely be fitting her soon. I didn't want to get 12 to 18 because she won't be able to wear it for a long time, so she's got this. And my total was like $15 and some odd cents at Old Navy as well. And then I got some shoes and stuff from Goodwill that I'm really excited about. So here's what I got at the Goodwill. I got these Toms right here. These are so cute. These are a woman's size seven. They will be listed in my Poshmark closet. Probably already are by the time you guys see this. And then I've got these boots right here. I believe these are a size eight. These will also be listed in my closet as well. We've got men's Toms. These are in great condition, size 11. And last but not least, we've got some amazing tennis shoes here. We've got these Brooks Adrenalines in mint condition. Not mint condition. They're in good condition. I don't know why I said mint, but they're in good condition. Brooks are really good tennis shoes. They'll do really well. And that is everything that we got from all of our stores in the hall. Maverick also, as soon as I got off camera, reminded me, Zach ran in and got my vanilla for my coffee. Lasts about two, two and a half weeks. I have enough for, I think, tomorrow and Sunday, but just wanted to go ahead and grab it now while we were out and about. I am in my office. I just got done listing two of the four pairs of shoes that I got. I listed both pairs of Tom's, so the women's boots and then the men's shoes. And the other two I will go ahead and work on tomorrow. But I got to go upstairs because the baby is ready to be fed. I'm exhausted. It has been a long day. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed catching up with me earlier in today's video. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video in general. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Loving this moment. Can always stay here forever.